Hi, I'm going to be donating 100% of my revenue from this video by AdSense towards Black Lives Matter organizations, so do not skip the ads. Thank you for your contribution. Hey guys, it's Vanessa, and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a very highly requested video. This is one of my most popular videos on my channel that you guys love watching, which I don't really know why. I guess it's kind of fun to see me like go through hours and hours of trying on clothes and like compress it into literally 12 minutes every single time. I give what the people want. This video is going to be loaded with ads. I'm going to be donating 100% of revenue from this video towards Black Lives Matter Foundation. I've been talking a lot about it on my Instagram, pretty active on there, every day sharing as much as I can, posting as much as I can. Really, I've been taking time to read books, and I really encourage you guys to do the same. Use your voice. I cannot stress that enough. Just because it doesn't directly affect you doesn't mean it's not a problem. I created a Google Doc, ways that you can educate yourself, so if you are interested in that, I'll leave a link down below. So onto this video, if you're not sure how it works, I basically try on every single piece of clothing in my closet. I'm going to be doing this for the summer. I actually graduated high school June 4th, and I didn't really make a video about it. Didn't want to use my platform for that at that moment. So now it's summer. I'm going to be getting rid of clothes. I already went through and made a huge donation pile. It's sitting right there. And then I'm going to decide if I want to keep the item, if I want to sell the item. If you can't tell, she's pretty voluptuous. Like... I'm embarrassed. And everything, if I do sell it, will be on my Mercari, and also 100% of those proceeds I make are going to support Black Lives Matter. So, yeah. Let's just get started. <sighs> This top, I really love it, but I feel like the top is kind of fading because my washer kind of sucks. So I'm going to be selling it for super, super cheap. When tops are tied to a bad memory, I can't exactly wear them. Like, I have this thing where I just can't do it. So basically, I wore this to a party where I got used for my Instagram followers or whatever you want to call it. Not fun because I don't like getting used. Now, this top I got from Laura's Boutique. They actually sent it to me. Very comfortable. I wear without a bra. I wear a lot of stuff without a bra because I don't really need a bra because my boobs are tiny. Like, literally concaved. Love this top. I really like it. Just throw it on. This bralette's from Urban. You guys ask that a lot. I also have it in this pink color, and I'm only gonna keep one of them because, to be honest, I feel like I just don't need them both. So I think I'm gonna keep. I need to take a good look at myself right now. <laughs> I don't know which one to keep. You know, any mini money mo catch a tiger by the toe. Okay. So I'm keeping this pink one. But no, I like this gray one better. I'm keeping this gray one and I'm getting rid of this pink one. This top I got from Ross, like literally three bucks for a video and I wear it all the time. Super good for layering under jackets. Only tube top I have and only tube top I will ever have. Again, this is super good for layering. This top I actually got hoping I was going to wear it to Coachella, but unfortunately, not really sure if Coachella is going to happen, but I'm going to keep it in case. Also because I feel like this would be really good to bring the UCSB in. I got this from Princess Polly a while ago and I haven't worn it since like last year, I don't think. Just think I forget it exists in my closet. I have this cherry top and I wore it once to a party but I don't think I'm ever gonna wear it again. I just got this from Laura's Boutique. It's super soft and super comfortable but I don't feel like I have the boobs to fill it out because I feel like the boobs are supposed to be like out here. I'm literally like negative A so I'm gonna be selling this. This top I think it's super cute and oh, I've said that so many times throughout this video. I'm gonna stop saying cute. I really like this. This is just like a white wrap top I got in Taiwan and you guys ask a lot where I got it from. I don't think I'm gonna keep it because I don't wear it enough. Plain white v-neck I think it's good to have in my closet just in case. I literally love this top. It's from Laura's Boutique. I feel like I can make my boobs look really good in this shirt because it's like they tie and like a little push-up naturalness. I don't know. I got this thrifting a while ago and I wore it to the Love concert, but unfortunately I feel like it doesn't fit my style anymore. And the thing is with these shoulders, they kind of go up like easily. This top is literally a pain in the butt to zip. Like it fits, but it doesn't zip which is annoying as heck when I do this because I literally always have to ask my mother to help me zip up a shirt and I'm like 17 years old. I got this shirt from Princess Polly a while ago but I feel like I don't wear it enough. I love this top from Princess Polly. It's baby blue and it just ties up here in the front. Princess Polly, love it. Came with like a skirt but I'm selling the skirt. It's a little bit like messed up though on the ruffles so I'm actually, I think I'm just gonna donate it. I got this one thrifting. I think I'm gonna keep it because it's more of like a wholesome shirt you know and I need more of those in my closet. This is the same shirt but in yellow and I don't think I'm gonna really wear this. Well, I would wear it, but I don't need both of them in my closet. Actually, flip. No, I'm gonna keep the yellow one because I need color in my closet. Yeah. Well, I don't know what it's called. V-neck. I honestly don't really wear it that often. This top, I love it. It's so, like, dainty and girly and fun. I used to love this top, but I feel like it's way too edgy now for my style. My friend Kyle was asking my friend Stephanie and I, like, to name our aesthetics, and I said I'm a free spirit in a little flower field, and I feel like this is not a free spirit in a flower field, so I'm selling it. I got this top when I was in Taiwan a while ago. You guys have seen this in literally every single one of my trying on everything in my closet videos. Now I have this, like, white long sleeve from Princess Polly, and I feel like it doesn't flatter me that well, so I'm going to be getting... 
Why can't I speak English? So I'm gonna be getting rid of it. Top tier layering piece. I wear it so much because it just goes with everything. This top I actually just bought, but I don't like how it curves up instead of like is a full length and kind of like ties like that, if you know what I mean. Also, if you guys were wondering, I don't know if you were, but you guys always ask where my necklaces are from, especially in these videos. The top like moon necklace that I have on, which is currently dangled, is from Alex and Ani, but they're currently out of stock. The bottom necklace I have is from Layered by Lolo. My friend Lauren actually just launched her brand new website. She's currently donating 20% of all profits. I definitely recommend you support her, especially because I know how hard she's worked on her launch and like even my earrings are from her. Like I love her. Go support her right now. This top, I love it. It's by Change. They are also donating 100% of their proceeds right now towards Black Lives Matter movement. In my opinion, this is one of the most flattering black tops I own. It just makes everything look really good. This white top, Princess Polly, but again, I don't think it flatters me that well. Like, I don't know. I'm just not a big fan of it. This is just a sweater from Windsor. I don't really wear it too often, so I'm gonna be selling it. This top, I think, is super flattering because it cinches at the waist and it's also not super revealing. It's just kind of fun, free-flowingness. I had a vision a while ago of layering this under a whole bunch of shirts and going for like a little vintage look which I haven't done yet but maybe I'll play around with it huge like flannel shirt from Princess Polly and I keep telling myself that I'm going to wear it but I have not worn it and I don't think I will it's super super lengthy I've worn it a couple times in like an Instagram picture I think but if I'm being honest I haven't really worn it since and I don't really reach for it first this is a green wrap top super flattering from Urban I've had this blue top from Brandy forever and I wear it a lot it's just super comfortable super easy to throw on favorite color too pink sweater from Brandy nice comfortable soft gray top super comfortable except I don't exactly wear it that often there's just not enough like top on this I'm gonna be getting rid of it I never really wear it I wear just kind of like big t-shirts or big sweatshirts super good layering piece I've worn this black like long sleeve so many times because it's so flattering on favorite sweater I actually thrifted it and I get so many compliments on it green sweater honestly I do like it but I have never worn it and I got it a couple months ago thrifting it's from Brandy you guys have seen me wear this so many times just because it's really comfortable this jacket from Brandy. Very nice to throw on. Super cozy. Got this pullover a while ago thrifting but I haven't worn it that much. This is actually my merch and it's still for sale so if you're interested I'll link it down below. Got this thrifting when I was in St. Louis with my friend Ryan. Funny memes attached to this one by the way. Got this one a while ago when I was on a family vacation. I've kept it every single time in every single one of these videos but I still like have yet to wear it so I'm gonna make myself wear it tonight to bed. That's my promise to myself. Now we're on to my sweatshirts. I'm keeping most of them. So I'm just going to put them on real quick for the sake of time. And then if I'm selling one, I'll just talk about selling it. Shadow Hill sweatshirt. I got the... What's happening with my face? Because I think I got this at a time where I needed this saying, you're doing fine. Because I was really not doing mentally okay at all. Kind of served like as a constant reminder for me. But honestly, I'm doing really well mentally. I have the best friends right now. I'm not going to say life's good because obviously, you know, there are things we really need to change. But I know that I am not struggling mentally anymore. Here is Hannah's reminder and my reminder that you're doing fine and you would be okay. You know, as cheesy as it is, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. It'll be a constant reminder from us. I love you. No, but actually, like, I genuinely love you guys so much. No, this is a trying on everything in my closet video, but I just, I'm just gonna lean in and get comfortable. Pull out your coffee, pull out your tea, whatever. People always talk to me about how, like, I'm the only quote-unquote influencer who has ever responded to their DMs, or, like, they're surprised that I'm so nice because not many influencers are like that, which I don't understand, personally. I think of you guys as my friends. I don't think of you guys as, like, my followers, my fans. Like, we're all buddies here, and if you support me, like, I love you. I know that you're like me in some way. Honestly, I just love talking to you guys, and I love having a connection with you guys. I love helping your small businesses because that's what friends do for each other. You are all people to me. You're not numbers. You're not a subscriber count. Like, it's never been about that, nor will it ever be about that. I'm sorry, this is a random rant in the middle of this video, but I just feel like I wanted to talk about it. I don't know. I just love you guys a lot, and I just want to serve that as a constant reminder, and I have such a deep care for each and every one of you. Okay, that's it. Continuing. <laughs> Thrive merch. I don't wear it that often. It's in my favorite color though, so I will be selling it. Had this forever, I've worn it forever. It's tied to a lot of my high school memories that are pretty good, so. Weekend merch. Love the weekend. His concert got moved to 2021, but catch me still there. Love wearing it like super oversized. The back is super dope. My first ever merch that I launched, which by the way, I kind of want to come out with new ones soon. I will let you guys know, keep you guys updated when the whole merch thing happens. If you want to stay super updated, I'm super active on Instagram, and I don't mean this in a way like, Oh, I want Instagram followers. I mean it in a way that that's where you will find me like updating about the most random things in life. You can get to know me better there. So if you want to connect with me on a deeper level, send me memes. Super swaggy pullover. Their Instagram is a new day underscore NH, I believe. They're actually one of my subscribers, and I love what their company stands for. They donate 100% of their proceeds to mental health awareness, and I just 
Love that. My favorite oversized sweatshirt since literally sophomore year. Brava got me this champion sweatshirt for Christmas. Super oversized champion sweatshirt my dad got for me in Japan. Brian Trahan's merch. Honestly, love the guy. One of the nicest YouTubers I've met. Genuinely the same, if not nicer in person. This is my senior class sweatshirt covering up the logo here because I don't want you guys to haunt the underclassmen and upperclassmen of 2020 whatever. Definitely keeping it though because it's my senior sweatshirt. Very nice windbreaker oversized. Don't really wear it much, but for some reason I really like it, so I'm keeping it. I just put on this white top so I can try on the jackets without like you know flashing anyone because I don't I'm not a not big on that gray jacket super comfortable I actually got it from Walmart it's just very nice to throw on and go out in all my clothes are underrated by the way I got this jacket a while ago from I think a sponsorship or a brand I have not worn it yet so I will be selling it but just letting you know it's super good quality and it has pockets on the inside and there's little thumb holes I got this at a thrift store when I was up in Big Bear very comfy jacket but I feel like it makes my shoulders like I look like a Roblox character so I I will be selling it. This is literally a male cardigan from Ross that Kyle convinced me to buy. Um, I look like a grandma who knits, but kind of a look. There we go. I'm keeping it. Thanks, Kyle. I feel like this just isn't really my style. Like, yeah, I could go cute and like this, but I never really do that. But should I do that? Because now that I'm looking myself in the viewfinder, I feel like this could low-key work. This jacket is super thick and very comfortable from Hollister, but I live in Orange County, where I'm it doesn't ever get that cold. So I'm gonna be selling it. Retails for over $100, I believe. Let me put it on fully to give you a full modeling look. Emma Chamberlain jacket, back in the poofy jacket days. I don't exactly wear this anymore, and if this pains me to do, that I'm gonna sell it. This pains me so much. But I know that I haven't worn it since I've kept it in my last try on everything in my closet video, and I know that if I keep it, I'm never gonna wear it again because it's not really my style anymore, but it was my style junior year, but unfortunately, I'm a, now high school's a graduate, and I will not be wearing it ever again. Please buy it. Please don't give me time to regret this decision. Solid black denim jacket. It's pretty thick, and it's furry on the inside. Now we have entered the dresses, so let's scoot the camera back a little bit so you can get the full look. Oversized t-shirt, wear it as a dress. I got this dress and I loved it when I bought it, but for some reason I just don't feel like it flatters me. This dress I feel like could flatter me because I could belt it and it could like cinch, you know, and it could look nice. I love this dress. It's very, very comfortable and it just is super flattering because I love the little like, you know, of it. Bodycon from Princess Polly, but unfortunately it just like rides up super easily now. This dress is adorable. I think it's also hecka flattering like on. Also, I am tired of trying on clothes, not gonna lie. So, these ones I recently put in a Princess Polly haul. So, if you want to see these on, I'll link the haul here. I got this maxi dress at a Lulu's event. Goes down to the leg, but I've never worn it. Very comfortable romper from Princess Polly. I wore it to fake coach. It's super flattering the way you can like dance with it. I don't know. I love it. Love Princess Polly dresses. Gonna keep it. Wore this to Playlist Live. Love it. Cutest dress ever. Like, come on. Adorable romper. Pretty colors, pretty colors. Like, what, what, what more do I say about it? I feel like, it's just super fitting and it makes my butt look kind of good. This green dress would be just really nice to throw on. Unfortunately, I feel like it doesn't really flatter me because I don't have the boobs to fill it out. So, like, high neck things don't really look that good on me. I'm back. My camera just died. So, now we're back. Um, trying on clothes. I'm also not going to try on my pants because I have very limited pants. So, if I'm keeping them, that definitely means that I like them. First skirt, anyways. This is a part of like that two piece set from Laura's Boutique. This this cherry skirt goes with the matching cherry top, but unfortunately, again, like, I've never worn this. Even though I really like it, I haven't worn it, and I don't think I will. I got this skirt, Laura's Boutique. I don't know, I just feel like it doesn't flatter me too well. I've worn this skirt so many times, it's one of my favorites. Honestly, I have not tried these shorts on in a while just because I didn't think they fit anymore because I did gain a little weight and I'm like not ashamed of that. Like my butt's fuller so I'm pretty happy about that. But I didn't think these would fit anymore but they still fit me. This pink skirt even though it fits I feel like it's digging into like literally every single rib cage I own. Like yeah, I'm not gonna be keeping it. This is one of my favorite skirts in general. I love the colors. I love the whole like preppy vibe. This skirt I've had forever, but I honestly don't really wear it anymore. This skirt got from Urban a while ago and have not worn it yet. I don't know why. I think I forgot I owned it. Again, I thought these shorts wouldn't fit. That's why I haven't worn them, but they fit pretty well and I really, really like them. So heck yeah. Some more talk you guys probably didn't ask for. But when I first day, it started to gain weight, I was like kind of scared of it and kind of wanted to like hide the fact that I was gaining weight trying to still fit into clothes that literally like weren't made to fit my like new body shape now I'm kind of like yeah if it doesn't fit me I may get rid of it why would I keep it like 
No, but these, they make my butt look good. I love this skirt so much. I love this color green. If you guys don't know, I literally love butterflies. I have like a little butterfly fetish. I'm keeping this skirt. <laughs> this skirt I've worn maybe like once for a photo shoot, but I don't think I'm going to be reaching for it over other stuff in my closet. Favorite blue, love it, so keeping it. This is my only white skirt, and I love the little slit in the leg. I thrifted this skirt. It's actually from Free People. Pink, like, nudish skirt. Yeah, so I'm keeping it. I love maxi skirt. Skirts. The other one I have right now is currently in the wash, but I want to definitely get more. And then we've got these shorts from Princess Polly that I call my eating pants because I love to wear these underneath like big t-shirts when I go out to eat a lot of food because they are very expandable and they're very nice. And that is everything that I'm going to be trying on today for you guys. I'm sitting now in my pile of clothes. Now I'm going to go list everything. I'm going to edit this video. I'm going to put on my clothes back. So yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Look out for a new summer haul because now I'm going to make some room for some summer pieces yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did make sure you give it a like and if you really like me don't forget to subscribe comment anything you want down below and i will see you guys next time bye roskies now i'm running with new roundies let's sing i got copyrighted so enjoy this i'll show for now